I kind of like this point in the development of relativity because we're getting past just the really basic calculations and we're getting now towards some of the slightly higher level thinking or interpretations that that will be helpful you know especially if we go further into general relativity and whatnot which we're not really so much going to this semester um but so so these topics here it, it really kind of deals with visualizing how relativity works and you know obviously we're going to start out uh, driving some diagrams that will show how space-time interacts basically and so I, the we're starting to get to the point of thinking about this where we're not simply just doing, you know, direct transformations or not calculating just a basic quantity, where we're viewing things from a slightly, um, you know, viewed from one step further back to make sense of, of, of an even bigger picture. And so I think when we derive, derive these space-time diagrams, that's synonymous, by the way, with Minkowski diagrams, um, it is kind of a really cool conceptual leap to be able to view, you know, entire space-time in a single diagram and then more so be able to actually like analyze what the different regions of that diagram physically are interpreted as. So I'm getting ahead of myself, but it's, this is kind of that, you know, starting to think outside the box even more uh, now that we have kind of the analytical side uh, already, you know, captured.